Hey, what's up everyone? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds, and today I have a quick video to show you how to use the Contour Toolpath. So, let's get started. Here's our part. We'll go up to Contour on the top left, and we're just going to chain the wireframe on the outside of this part. So you can go off solid or wireframe, we're just going off the wireframe for now. We go to tool, select library tool, we'll find a half inch end mill, right click, hit edit tool, Now we go to easyspeedsandfeeds.com and we get some speeds and feeds. We're going to pretend like this part is made out of Hastaloy. Call it a half inch end mill. We use 80 surface feet, 7 teeth on this end mill, and we'll go thou and a half chip load. So we will go. Call it tool one, and then we'll just put in our speeds and feeds. We always do that. We never skip this step. Now go to cut parameters. It's gonna be a 2D contour depth. Let's just select the bottom of the part. And then multi passes. We'll just add. We'll make it go two rough passes, one finish pass. We'll make the finish pass five thou. Click the check, and we will just backplot this first one. So that's looking good. Hundred thou on the first pass. Hundred thou on the second pass. And as you can see, it left five thou for that finish, like we told it to. And there we go. It takes out that five thou in the last pass. So that's the 2D contour toolpath. We're going to go back into parameters, back into cut, click on 2D, and then click on ramp. Clip depth, ramp depth, and we'll go an eighth inch. That means an eighth inch down every time around the part. We'll just do run, one rough pass and one finish pass. Now, Regen it. We're going to verify for a better visual of this. Here's our material. There's our tool. Click play here. So it's ramping around the part. Every time it goes around, it's going down an eighth of an inch at a ramp. And there's that finish pass. Ramps are good for when you're not holding on the part very well. When you're ramping, you're actually pushing down when you're removing material, and that keeps the part down. When you're just contouring, you're kind of lifting it up. So when you're ramping, you're pushing down. Um, there's just a quick video on uh, how to do a contour toolpath in Mastercam. Uh, subscribe for more, and uh, thanks for watching.